Also, just in case you guys have probably noticed pretty quick, but I've stopped all the stuff from having all of the all of the animations. I don't know about you guys, the animations are starting to annoy me. Cause just to make sure everything's going good, because I really only have one screen, I have the game set for basically windowed mode. And then I'm looking at it next to the game. And all of the moving shit was really annoying me, so I assume it was probably annoying you guys. So, what are the odds I get invaded? Because if it's going to happen anywhere, this is it. <laughs> what a miracle! Yes, look at that. To be honest, yes. I love how that missed. Okay, you're dead, sir. Thank you, goodbye. Uh, today is Thursday. Now, I'm not- now, I didn't say love S. I still can't love. I don't have that capacity. Not sure it's really alive, probably don't. Oh, the fat roll, nice. Give me the bow. I believe from there, if we there's an item over here. I think. 
No, no, the item I was thinking about was for Dark Souls 2. The items are down over here. I believe this is probably the armor set over here we're going to be using in the end. You recall, it doesn't use Twinkling Titanite. Meaning we can get it to plus 10. Meaning it gets to 90 at a much lower weight. I don't know, the Havel still, if I actually bother to use Twinkling, I think gets to plus 5, which gets to like 140 something? Was it the Black Iron set? So you have to check, it might have, no, the Black Iron even at doubles 120, yeah. Ah, Havel's is just good. Which isn't a bad thing. Holy crap, there's a lot of plants, though. So. Um, what back placements are weird? I'm not sure what you're talking about. So, we'll come back around to the porcupine cat. Do you not have fingers? You know, S, I kind of forgot that 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 you were a baby bird. I see both of us had the exact same thought. That's actually not necessarily awful. I also forgot arm. Yeah, I mean, could have got that much earlier. Be entirely wrong. I am. The items are all the chests inside the lake with the giant mushroom men. I don't believe the small ones attack me when I attack the big guys. I have to keep my have to keep that in mind. Oh, I forgot they can punish twice. I 
Oh, right, you can farm pine resin off these big boys. These guys are really just a test of patience. Of which I don't have, clearly. Oh, that's where the enchanted ember was. And that's also really easily gettable early. Do you I'm never gonna play this game again, or I'd have to keep that in mind? And I'm probably not gonna play it again. Come on, porcupine rat dog thing. God, the hitbox on them when they're rolling is weird. Come back for later. I just forget, I believe there's one item down here that I can get. Maybe not actually. I believe there was an item down there, but there's not. Meaning that we already have everything. Yet. The entire spot of these cats is just to avoid the PvP area, which isn't relevant at all anymore. Well, let's go fight the doggo. Wait, uh, S, does Dark Souls 1 have DLC? I actually am unsure. How do I get to it? I feel like I should have found it by now, considering how it works for the other games. Is it just one, or is there a bunch?
Oh, well, I should have enchanted my my weapon before this. Huh. Where's the Where's the golden necklace in the Duke's archives? Kind of dumb that I'm going there last then, but oh well. Oh, I cannot block that with this. I don't know why I remember the dog being something you normally fight later. But its damage is quite low. And its health is low. Well, its damage is high, but its health is low. And now it does a little sad limp. What are you venting out your system? Actually, that gave me more souls than I was expecting. Good, I can now purchase some large shards to get a better bow. I did it. I, I grabbed the hornet ring before the boss fight. At least I think I did. I may not have. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to use it anyway, to be honest. No, so I so I like backstabbing. It's just I can't afford to use it. Guess is a better way to put it. I kind of need Havel's ring. And the fat ring is just too good. The question is... What do the stone and the black armor? I believe the eastern. There's just no point for the eastern, right? Oh, Eastern is also Twinkling Titanite. Twinkling Titanite. Can I not upgrade Havels at all? Is that what it was? Because Havels is definitely not in here. Huh. That gives possibilities. I mean, that's going to add 50 to this, so yes, the black iron, if I really want to farm out the titanite, is going to be better, I believe it goes to plus... No, the twinkling goes to plus 5 still. It's only going to add 30, leaving that at 98. I'll be seeing you, PK. 
Why is it not a good time? Right, I'm pretty sure the Black Ferris bow is a regular, but I should probably check that as well. Okay, it is, yes. And yeah, I can check the scaling while I'm here. Uh, yeah, that'll be better. So, okay, so basically, yes, here's how it's coming out. It's that it'll be B98 physical defense compared to the 92 for Havels, which this game apparently doesn't let you upgrade Havels. I don't think I remembered that. with the five upgrades but yes it will be a large cost investment because i believe you need like what 14 twinkling titanite to plus five in armor and it's like eight thousand souls a piece or is it four thousand souls a piece and how much twinkling do i have now The bow is going to be very useful for the Duke's archives, so I don't care. Uh, can I ask? I thought I wasn't able to. I can I wish I realized that sooner I would have done that ages ago god damn that's killed me so many times I've died to that so many times You know, my dex isn't high enough for this to be a worthwhile trade, but barely. It's like three points off. But I will keep that shot range. Or when I just decide to go up to upgrade stuff more. It's just at that cusp now.
I should have. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go buy some extra transient curse just in case. Hopefully the ghost knife drops, but I'm not that lucky. Hello, ma'am. Transient curse, please. I also forgot she sells fire arrows. I can come back for those. I forgot she sells humanities. Well, that's all of all of the transient curses in this game. There is no more transient curses. If I run out, I'm fucked. Or I'm just gonna have a very bad time, really. So I guess my goal after this area is, I guess I'll tell him where his wife is, or master, whatever, and he can go die. Oh, as I'm supposed to tell him a different way, oh well, it doesn't matter now. God, if I do the thing, Believe I can kindle this twice? Get 20 flasks and just call it a day. Hey, we fucking go. The exploratory flasks are here. Should have done this ages ago. By the way, what AC is that, that has the crow and the snowboard? I don't remember an AC having a snowboard, but I wouldn't put it past FromSoft. I didn't remember him having that in the cover, but he probably did. The snowboard has a Karasawa. Huh. You know, I don't remember that, except you haven't ever lied before. Sure, post it in your sorry, post it in your own Discord server. I'll go find it later.
God, I can't see if I have the transient curse active while I'm in the Havel set. It's no way it already ended. Oh, did I already get the ghost knife? No, just two more transient curses. I'm fine with this. Have I been? No, I'm not. God damn it. Is this a ghost knife? No, just more transient curses. You know, I didn't have to buy any of these transient curses. Hello, Saya. I see you've changed your color. You're currently going through Spooky Place. Oh, she's stronger than normal. Yeah, your color is normally not yellow. It was purple before. These last way longer than I remember them lasting. I don't remember what the point of coming down here was. Guess it's a shortcut for later you can roll down after you drain the water. I don't recall picking anything up. Yeah, when they first do, but I thought you pick it yourself when you go into the, into the... I'm pretty sure you can pick your own color. Shouldn't be randomized. Exactly. And I don't know why his color would have changed. He's been here quite a bit. I believe it was, yes. Well, these last way longer than I remember them being. Holy crap! I don't remember that one shooting lightning. More transient curses. The money I spent was wasted.
Oh, it's purple now. Thank you, Twitch. Look, more transient curses. The remastered really makes him drop a lot. Because I 100% uh, re, uh, sorry, uh, re, remember running out of them. We're going to the abyss. Woo! If you can find him. Of course, he sells transient curses for half the price. Doesn't matter. I have way too many transient curses. Especially because I'm pretty sure we're basically... We are done with these ghosts now. We, we, we don't even need them anymore. Ah, well. It was an investment I'm still glad I made. I was so sure a ghost was about to attack me in the back. Also, my day's been pretty good, Saya. How about yours? Want me to go back inside through here? Pretty sure I can make this jump. You know what? It's not worth it anyway. Rather just use the flask. I don't even think I need to. I think this gets me to a bonfire. I could have just rolled down there. Uh, so, Saya, it depends. You usually you get two options. Or, so, so you can run them using a hardware or a software, which kind of changes which one is used. You composite bow is the strength bow, right? Yeah.
So fun fact for everyone, there is a massive shortcut over here. For anyone who doesn't know that. Unless this this version fixed it, but they probably didn't. S, do you do you know what the shortcut is? If you go here, I believe if you get the right angle, you can just jump up here and you're like at the boss fight. Yeah, there we go, first shot. And then you just go over here and you're basically at the boss fight. Though I kind of want to go through and grab the items. And technically, I am four dragon scales off of maxing out uh, Priscilla's tail, but I don't think I'm going to use it at this rate. The lightning spear is good enough. I'm not really running around lightweight backstabbing. The dex is almost entirely pointless because I'm using the lightning spear. Could have invested it in much better stats. But I forgot how powerful lightning is in Dark Souls 1. They could have taken like 20 of those stat points and put them somewhere better. These guys are also very easy to parry. Not that I need to. Oh, look, a chunk. Oh, right, it's that guy. Hey, Benefer. How's it going? Anyway, I thought that guy gave something if you killed him. You clearly just almost nothing. Maybe there was a ladder or something around here. That goes up to the other spot. That's not what I'm looking for. There's the staircase. I mean, we are definitely inside the abyss now, that is correct. The uh, benefit that probably is, there are a lot of really weird mid-bosses, like those butcher things, but there's technically two of those, aren't there? Three? Yeah. Two or three? I still kind of find it unfortunate that Izalith wasn't finished, because god, that boss fight is awful. I will never stop complaining about that boss fight. Ooh, there's the very large ember. Yeah, Bed of Chaos is unfun, it's not good, it's jank, and it like keeps, and it's so bad that they know it's bad, that they keep the phases between attempts. You lose zero progress when you die.
Not a controversial opinion. Good to know. I mean, you can cheese it with firebombs or something, apparently, but it still seems boring and unfun as hell. Right, this is for dropping down for a shortcut if you want to start from the Firelink Shrine, which I might. You want to come out, sir? Well, no, Benefer, I'm pretty sure that the entire area isn't finished. Hence why almost all of it's just the freaking fire statues. And that, uh... The entire area is just open lava with those T-Rex asses. With the freaking zombie dragon butts. And, like, hundreds of them. They just didn't finish. Long story what? Yeah, that's just the shortcut area. Pretty sure they did, yes. If I recall, I'm gonna need this transient curse again. Oh no, hey Benefer, look! There is a second one of those guys. There is a second one. Well, Benefer, there is literally a swamp directly under the boss fight. So I could definitely believe that, because there's the spot with Sigward that's just a poison swamp. Granted, though, also because considering that the whole depths area is also a swamp. Kind of makes, and that the whole under part of it's the frickin' Ashen Lake with the trees and shit, it makes a lot of sense that that was supposed to be a swamp. I forgot, you can summon Beatrice the Witch here for this fight, but I don't remember it being worth it. Pretty sure she gets stuck very easily without coming in. Oh right, I forgot. I'm not allowed to take the ring off inside this boss fight, am I? I'm pretty sure you're able to jump down the middle, but I'm not doing that. So, here is the question of the day. Are we going to get three kings or five kings? Anyone want to take a guess? Three kings or five kings?
I'm going to abuse my stats here. I don't care. What the hell, lock on? What the hell? I've never seen this attack. That actually didn't hurt that much. I thought I saw another one get up. Where is it? I can't wear wear Havel's armor armor Benefer. It's too much weight with this shit. Granted, it probably would have made better. I'm not I'm not rolling anyway. I was expecting to have to roll, but I apparently don't have to. Wait, we didn't even kill this king in the boss fight's done. He has extra health. I only killed three of them! We got three kings this time. Sometimes you have to fight five. It was three and a half kings this time. Wait, why am I getting more? Why is it scaling up? I mean, I'm fine with getting more HP than I'm supposed to. Sure. I have the fap ring, yes. The fap ring is staying on. Does it calculate during- no, S, but I've had the fap ring on the whole time. Bro, oh, let us go, it's archives time. Probably not finishing the archives today, but meaning we'll probably finish the game if we don't do the DLC on Tuesday. But I guess you guys probably want the DLC, and I have no clue what it is. Yeah, I've never actually done the DLC. I don't know how to how to actually get there. Benefer said I'll be, get some golden necklace in here. I have to go back to the Hydra with.
Holy crap, that double hit me. I was not expecting the double hit. Also, trying to attack this guy with a spear is a pain in the ass. And the Grass Crush Shield isn't really cutting it anymore. I should either upgrade it or I guess change to the Black Shield for a bit. I still want to be under a half. I know that, like, the one spot I can be is 70. Alright, this is the wrong head. There we go. Yes. Yes, Benefer, I know. That's why I've been using it. Stamina is great. I kind of wish I was using a, using a, like, lighter build to have the, uh, uh, Loranthi ring as well. Yeah, the trick for this guy is just two-handing. Hey, look, a Fangbor helmet. God, where is the warp fire in here? Why do I want to kill the golem to the right? Ah, makes sense. Pick what? There's nothing here. Did I did I pick up the item? There's no item here, S. Do I have to purchase the DLC?
Then why isn't the item there? Oh, well, benefit, the item was not inside the golem. We, we just killed the crystal golem. The item wasn't there. Where is the gold go and where is she at us? Where in Dark Root Basin? I was already there. I already ran through there. There was nothing at the back of there. There was nothing at that back section. There was just in there was just empty nothingness. And I went there before doing Isolith. Yes. Yes, S. In case you forget, I w I sorry, sorry, I ran over there and killed the uh, and I killed the Hydra Tuesday and ran all the way back there thinking there was something there and it was empty. Do I have to do something to make her appear or do I have to be human? That's a mimic. Ow. The limey bastard. What are you guarding? Garbage. So, question. Do we cheese this? There is a way, I believe, to jump to the corner to cheese this. Don't jump. I guarded you. That's fuck you. He guard. I he recoiled from the guard, and I stabbed him, and he parried it. It's not how that's supposed to work. Second time you've seen that. Was it the same guy? Hold on, are you talking about? Uh, are you talking about the guy being there, or that weird like where he bounces off but then parries the freaking attack? Cause God, that was freaking annoying. Right. Actually, how is Hart doing? I don't I don't recall seeing him at all. Oh.
Hello, Altism. You just missed some of the biggest bullshit I've ever seen. So, so Altizen, you know, you know how, sorry, how like enemies hitting your shield bounce off? Better for I have not. So, so a freaking enemy hit, sorry, hit my shield, bounced off. So I went for the counter damage and he reposted it. He freaking parried it. He was in a state he shouldn't be able to take an action and frickin' parried. He was... He shouldn't be able to do that. Oh shit, the elevator... How do I get the elevator down? Oh, there it is. I was right. Okay, Benefer, so the DLC is blocked by archives progression. Well, that's why, that's why it's not happening then. Uh, Altizen, I've, I've had my backstab parry. I've literally been like three seconds into, into a backstab and then I've gotten parried. Yeah, like that. That freaking happened before, but then he freaking parried me. Like, fuck you, sir. No! Alta- What do you mean that guy can't parry? That guy clearly parried me! Everyone saw it! I know you said that, but he did! Fair enough. I forgot, can you actually kill him here? Yeah, I wasn't coming back for the souls. What do you mean by how am I not getting cursed, Benefer? I don't understand the question. Yeah, fun fact, it, it doesn't nullify curse on death, it just nullifies curse entirely. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that, but it does.
What? Die, you sneaky bastard. Right, I forgot something important. This isn't it, but I'm but I'm doing it anyway. Why did that go so much better before? Oh well, let's go. Oh, I need a different key for that. Son of a bitch. Ah well, that was a waste then. Sure, snake guy. Humanity. Oh, right, I know why. I missed. There is the fun key. I don't believe anything down there was... Yeah, I appreciate there was nothing around there.
Is that a stinger head with a question mark? Remember, there's some reason I shouldn't kill these guys. Hello again. Alas, I'm in prison once at the archives. The thought of Fen as a student of. Hello again. Alas, the thought as a. <laughs> Where is Phantasma? Okay. Alas, the author as a student of. I believe the key is somewhere else in the archives for that. Or was it the upper spot I was trying to get to before? Or can you be losing? If I recall, this is for a very shitty priest-like armor set I'm not even going to use. But let's go find out. I was the soul of a brave warrior. Who just attacked me? Is that it? I feel like I went the wrong way. Have you tried not watching me from Costco? Did that guy actually try to follow me down the jumps? By the way, Wu-Tang, what did you purchase from Costco? Was it anything good? It looks like that was it. Look, S, I'm sorry, you can't be watching me from Costco. Honestly, ham and ravioli are both very good choices. What kind of ham? Was it capicola by chance? You gotta love some capicola. I am not racist. I, I don't think McDonald's Wi-Fi is good enough for that, but you can give it a shot. Also, I'm not even sure if freaking McDonald's Wi-Fi is safe. Fuck you, game! Well, good thing I'm going two feet. Honestly, a hold on, a hold on, you got a boneless shank of what? Why did it do that twice? Ham. Hmm. Yeah, but what kind of ham? Is it just like a plain roasting ham? Is it a is it a honey glazed ham? Is it a maple bourbon glazed ham? There's more than just a bone. You still haven't said what kind of ham. 
I guess there we go. That's the kind of ham, honey glazed. I mean, no one buys just just a plain ham. Okay, some people do, most don't. I do not remember what the white seance ring is. Is it the one that gives extra spell slots? Yes. Exactly my point, Altizen. And then there's that really awkwardly named Canadian bacon that isn't bacon. That is amazing, Wu-Tang. I would love to be able to cure my own bacons and meats. It just sounds fantastic. You can get everything exactly, exactly how you like. You could freaking brine it, then cure it very nice. Like, like, I am really into, like, oh, because, like, uh, I guess baking is the, just the general term for it. I do a lot of shit. I made a really good pie last week. I think it was my favorite pie that I've ever had. So I actually made a pie out of eggnog, and it was just phenomenal. Granted, this is also, you would have to be someone who, who, you know, likes eggnog to enjoy an eggnog pie. What do you mean by, do I, ha no, so here's the thing. I do not have a starter. I was thinking and looking into, sorry, into making panettone, but I started looking end of, end of freaking November, and then saw that you have to start the yeast, like, five months in freaking advance. And obviously, I did not have five months of time. I'm glad that that made your day, S. Always good when your day is happy. The 1840s! Now, now here is the real question. Is it, is it good? Because you can make a really shit starter. But if that's a good starter from that long ago, that that's that's just great. Yeah, like, I do more of, like, as I, say, as I mentioned prior, like, cakes and pies and stuff. So, so, I have a question. Does your wife, wife use, sorry, use powdered sugar or granulated sugar for, sorry, for, uh, for, uh, for making whipped cream? Because I have recently realized that, like, using powdered sugar is so much better, even though every recipe says to use granulated sugar. It, like, freaking keeps itself up. It just tastes so much better. Double the freaking vanilla in it, which is great.
So I know one of the two that have either the one inside the jailer, that one's the warp one. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so... Okay, so something else, which is really, really nice of it, if you put normal whipped cream using granulated sugar onto a cake or pie and then just basically let it sit, that'll run. If you, if you use, say, use a, okay, so powdered sugar, it will, it'll actually keep itself up and, and just won't run, which is just also very nice. Because you can put it on, okay, it's so like onto the pie, mix cinnamon or something into it, leave that on there, and then just after cutting pieces of that pie out, it won't run off and, like, fill in the gap inside the pie tray. So here's the thing, there, so I am not grabbing the Avalon because dying eight times to get it is not worth an item I'm not going to actually use. Just to let everyone know, you basically have to get across the gap and rotate the thing and then fall onto the bookshelf there. And then from that spot, it's inside the chest. But missing it at all immediately kills you, and I believe you have to do it when this thing is spinning. And I'm gonna say, fuck that, I ain't doing it. So you basically have to run, run down this now. And freaking attempt to run off when that's over it. And yeah, just not doing it. The bonfires are too far, and I don't trust myself. But that is the, like, rapid-fire crossbow. Which, very hilariously, in Dark Souls 3, it's on something very similar. In Dark Souls 3, it's on another bookshelf. Dark Souls 2 has it inside the crypt. Exactly, yes. Never trust me. Unless it's about baking. Honestly, I hate Dark Souls 3, and I hate Elden Ring. Dark Souls 3, they just made rolling so spammable. And it just, besides ruining the whole way that the game really feels, it makes it way too easy. And then, and then certain weapons for, for like, online fighting have compensated hitboxes. So you get hit by random bullshit when it doesn't actually hit you. And some get it when they don't need it, like the split leaf greatsword's ridiculous. And then Elden Ring's just too much copy pasta. Honestly, I prefer Dark Souls 1 and, and like, Dark Souls 2, how it's, like, a bit more slow. You have to actually time rolls. But I do like 2 because power stancing is stupid. How would you notice the ads a minute in?
There you go, it's dragon killing time. Wu-Tang, how did you notice the ads a minute after they started? Should you have noticed them a bit sooner? But I forgot where the freaking lever to, is the lever up there, is that why you have to go up there? Odd. No, yeah, so... Uh, okay, so... As I was saying... I do, so I do prefer Dark Souls 1 and like Dark Souls 2, like actual combat speed because you have to time rolls instead of just spamming the rolls whenever the fuck you feel like. But, uh, I do like Dark Souls 2 because power is dancing. And does anyone remember where the freaking lever I'm supposed to hit is at? I know that there, there's, there's a lever somewhere. But I don't remember where. I don't believe it was across the way. Oh, it's right there. I'm fucking blind. I never rotated the elevator. The entire reason we came up here. Didn't do it. I knew there was a reason I was going around. Because you have to. Fuck you, sir. Eat shit. I don't care about getting the guy's armor and shit and buying his spells because I'm not I'm not a wizard named Harry. There's the cell key for later. <laughs> that is amazing, actually. So, question, even though I'm not going to use it, do I cut off Seath's tail? Ah oh, yes, the prism stones. I may have to go back and actually purchase prism stones. I forget if there's more here, but 20 is definitely not enough.
That is amazing. Also, actually, Wu-Tang, I have... So, I've never done the DLC. I stopped playing Dark Souls... Again, I've only done Dark Souls 1. Like, this is my, like, third time actually going through to beat it. And my first two times, the DLC didn't exist. The one thing I will say, it is ridiculous how far Seath is from the closest bonfire. Like, it is legitimately incredible how big of jerks they were with his bot with his boss placement. Oh, I did, yes. Yes, Wu-Tang. It was very unfun. Jenna, how's it going? Playing Dark Souls. Crystal. I mean, it's close. I was going to say, Crystal is kind of in between ice and stone. So I'll count it as a, I'll count it as a kind of cocaine nola stone. Well, also being an ice. You appreciate being the worst thing in a FromSoft game the entire millennium? I don't know, Wu-Tang. FromSoft does have some things I would say are worse than the Bed of Chaos. Namely, all of their, all of their online netcode protocols. They're fucking atrocious. And you can't tell me they're not. You Clearly. forgot about online. Clearly, I can't look. I, I can't be on your camera with no makeup on. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like a hand mask. Quit that! I'm gonna let you finish your last approximately 13 to 20-ish minutes. I know. I may keep going till the boss is done. Oh, good. Then have fun. Live your dreams. How's it, so, 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 a question: Are you staying over to bring Dad to the doctor, or what's the plan for that? I don't know. He could come here in the morning. He could have come here to do something else. I don't know. It's, Jenna thinks. It is way too early, and I cannot keep myself accountable well enough for that. Dad will, though. <laughs> Dad will. <laughs> so, question: Are you coming back here here for sorry for a uh, for dinner afterwards, or are you going home? I mean, I'll probably hang around. We'll yeah, because are, uh, are you making some good? I am making sorry a a a a beef roast tomorrow. And I got a bunch of other stuff, but mom used it on Monday to make dinner. Even though I bought it for a different dinner plan I was doing today. <laughs> no, I think we have everything besides beef rice, and I'm not sure if the veg I'm not sure if she used the vegetables, I have to check. I will let you know later. Okay. I forgot that those asshole mages respawn. And that you can't roll through the chairs in this one. And I, I don't think I've ever, I also never sat at this fire. Where is this teleportation point in here? I kind of want to go out to get more. Yeah, I'm going to go out to get stones and flasks. If I have to run back in the front door, I'll run back in the fucking front door. So look, where is the warp point? Duke's Archives. Or is there not one until you win? Okay, yeah. There is the Duke's Archives spot. Yeah. 
sometime. Who sells the... It's, is it the guy under the bridge? Who sells the pebbles? Someone, someone here sells pebbles. It's not going to be the guy all the way up in the inside the town, is it? Well, that is a shame. Screw it, we're going. I need those pebbles because I'm doing something stupid. Also, imagine the odd. Uh, so, so what's really funny is, I so yeah, I remember getting a ton of vagrants constantly when I played this this freaking back in the day. The two times that I played, with everyone else saying that they've never seen a single vagrant. So I'm curious because I used to always get one here multiple times, and I hated it because they would just freaking shoot me off with their spikes from across the freaking bullshit area. Okay, prism stones. There we go. You are now maxed out on prism stones. Thank God I didn't have to go all the way. I should have bought fire arrows, but too late now. Oh, I see. I saw them constantly. I've seen also, also apparently there are freaking multiple kinds of them. I was like, there are some that just try to run away and teleport. Then there's these other assholes with a giant crab claw that just shoot homing spines. It was really freaking annoying. But I always saw them here in the freaking walking area as well as inside Nito's by the Titanite demon. Inside the, uh, grave area. Also, you know, you know what sucks? I just started getting the hang of, or, or like what I feel is really the hang of this game now and the timing for shit, and I'm almost done. And I mean, the smart thing would be to jump into Dark Souls 2, but I can guarantee none of you want me to do Dark Souls 2 after this. You know what, Wu-Tang, redeem it. I'm pretty sure the temporary list is next, and I don't believe there's much on it. Actually, this is a safe spot. Hold on a second. Yeah, the temporary list is currently empty. And what's my queue look like for redeems? Is there anything on the temporary list? We have one thing. Diddy Kong Country 2 Diddy Kong Trouble. That is the only thing that's currently on that list. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest, Wu-Tang. Oh. 
I have not. Oh, this guy is bigger. Where are the crystals? The hell was that? Okay, Wu Tang, do I do something incredibly stupid? Yeah, that was also not it. I just find it funny that you can make him do that. And I kind of want to see if see if the freaking vagrant is there. Okay, so so by the way, Wu Tang, do you know why I purchased ninety nine pebbles? Uh, something a lot of people don't know is there's a spot over here. That's why I grabbed the pebbles. Great, I was not expecting the blood stains. He was dropping stones and died. he die? Oh, I know my, so, so, my, oh, damn it. I was too far left. Yeah, so, I have actually fought the butterflies, but not just to no pain. I have fought them.
And I knew I wasn't far enough over. I don't know why I kept going. To get what horn? Can't you just craft it with the boss weapon? I mean, isn't that the spear you craft with the boss weapon, or is it something else? Or do they just freaking straight up drop it as well? Yeah. It's not hard to kill it and then just get a spear. It is good for an intel dex build. I forget. Does, sorry, does dexterity also increase casting speed in this game? I always forget which games it does and doesn't. Also, in Dark Souls 2, you can get so much casting speed, it's just great. Also, I forgot there is a much better way than using the stones to find the path. I don't know why I was using the stones. Yeah, so much better than stones. Now for the blue slab I didn't need. I forgot it turned to the right. I'm an idiot. For some reason I thought it dipped down, it turned to the right. I don't care about the 14,000 souls, I really don't. Let's go kill the boss. Honestly, Wu-Tang, it's things like this where like you can tell they put a ton of effort into doing this and forgot that Izalith existed. Also, I don't know what the fuck their plan was with the clams. Or why there's even clams here. I forgot. The clams just drop uh, humanity easily, right? I'm just not sure why they're not in a water area. Like, I get the clams inside the Ashen Lake. Don't know why there's mushrooms inside the Ashen Lake.
I don't know why that happens sometimes. Or why I did that. I could have just walked the other way. I don't know why, uh, what I was trying to do there. Yeah, I don't even know why, why I walked onto that. For some stupid reason in my head, I was like trying to drop down into that hole path, but you can just get onto it from the other side. There's nothing else on it. So, by the way, what exactly is the DLC anyway? Like, is it, is it a lot of content, or is it not a lot of content? Well, S is making it sound like I don't want to bother doing it. You say that, but Bed of Chaos isn't in there. Oh, well, that's the freaking hole. Oh, hey, yeah. I forgot these guys are here. How did I do that? Oh, I don't need any of that shit anyway. Let's go kill clams. Oh, Twinkling Titanite. Neat. It's definitely right about there being certain stones in it. A lot of twinkling titanite purging stones. How are you noticing the ads after the ads are over? Also, Wu Chang, you were right. These things give a lot of twinkling titanite.
I recall I'm gonna want to go night stuff. And put on the anti-curse shit. I don't know, what did you do? Come to the middle of the room, please, Fat Dragon Man. No way this is going to work. Look, if this works, I don't care about the moonlight. Does, does the magic dragon actually not have any ranged abilities? Okay, this is taking too long. Come on, Puff, let's go. I don't think I'm hitting his tail far enough back to actually cut it off. This is an amazing camera though. Oh, it's hitting and damage your weapon. Well, shit. Fucking what the hell? That hitbox. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with his freaking, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with his, uh... Tail anymore. I don't give a shit. But I forgot that, uh... Fighting him breaks your shit.
Yeah, I also clearly don't care about the curse thing. I'm never standing in the curse. That's one thing I don't give a shit about. And ask, what did you do to your emotes? You just put a or did you do the better TTV thingy? Look, S, I'm too, I'm too old to understand all of your young kids' newfangled things. I don't know what the hell Riz is. And I don't want to know. Oh, I did that twice. Well, then, uh, now that there's no clams, we can just run inside the boss room, so that's nice. Just wanted to agitate the butterfly. I know, oh, the thing respawns, doesn't it? I have to get back there again. It's, it's, it's actually amazing that if you just do this, he'll just sit there attacking forever. Without actually coming at you. Oh, no, there he goes. I don't know why he was glitched before. I did not hurt it.
What in, uh, like, I don't, I don't know what happened with a, with, with a lot of these, like, endgame boss fights. What's, hold on, what's a glitch? No, the boss fights just aren't good. Yes, yes, so yes, I guess we'll go into the DLC on Tuesday. Oh, also, what should I do for Christmas? I think I'll get five more endurance as well. I don't think you guys really care about my toilet. <laughs> 